Hey guys, Stefan here, the Photo Book Guru, and this week I'm here to review the free print books for you. So just before I start, to stop wasting any of your time, these books are not available outside the UK. They can only be delivered into the UK, so if you live outside, then unfortunately uh, it's not the thing for you. And yes, the books are completely free. Every month you can get one 7x5, which is this size, 20 page softcover book for free. The only thing you need to pay for is the small delivery charge. Uh, there is no end to the offer, it goes on forever and uh, the only things you need to pay for apart from delivery is if you add any extras to the book which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. So the company is called Free Prints and they started off with doing small prints for free and now they have a separate subsidiary freeprintsphotobooks.co.uk and there they do all kinds of photo books. What you need to do is download the app onto your smartphone and you can use the pictures from your camera roll, uh, Facebook, Instagram and the usual social media platforms. The app is really cool, there are lots of uh, editing options which I'm going to show you in the end of the video. Uh, there's not really any catch to the, to the books. Uh, the only thing that I can say is be careful when you add any extras because it's going to uh, make the book payable. So if you choose hardcover or if you add even one extra page, then you will have to pay for the book. But if it's a 20 page 7x5 size softcover book, then it's going to be completely free. So um, let's go into my usual up close fives cover binding, printing, paper and the software to show you how you can create these and what options you've got and how much it costs and what the quality is. And after that uh, I'll talk to you about delivery and pros and cons of the book. Okay, so let's start with the sizes. You've got three sizes to choose from, the 7 by 5 inches, 8 by 6 inches and 11 by 8 inches. So pretty standard photo print sizes for the books. This one is the 7 by 5 inches and that's the only one that you can get for free. If you choose any of the other two sizes then obviously you will need to pay a surcharge. So let's go on to the cover. You've got two options to choose from. One is the soft cover and you have an upgrade option to a hard cover book. Both are glossy. This one is the soft cover and it looks like this. Okay, It has a, a really nice gloss finish. Uh, there's nothing on the spine and on the back you've got the logo and a barcode. Uh, now you also have the option to choose uh, from layouts for the back and use your own pictures. I chose to keep it white but just putting it out there that you can have anything you want on the back as well. And on the front you've got really stylish uh, themes to choose from and you can edit the text as well. I show you in the software overview in the end what kind of options you've got for the cover. So let's go on to the binding. It's a perfect bound book as you can see and there is no leaflet option at the moment. When the book opens that's how it pages. Let me show you that. And you can also see some of the layouts. So the binding is really good because nothing really gets lost in the middle. It's so little, it's only like, um, I don't know, not even half a centimeter that gets lost in the middle. So your pictures are nice and intact, especially if you use a white mount around the pictures, then nothing is going to get lost. Uh, that's how the binding looks from the top. Let me see if I can focus. And uh, it's really thin but it, it keeps together very well and it doesn't give any cracking sound when you page the book so I'm very happy with it. Uh, when you open it the book starts on the very first page here and there's nothing on the back cover of the front and on the back it's a bit different because you've got an extra page um, so this is where it finishes then you've got a white page and then a little thumbnail of your cover a barcode again and the last page. Okay let's go on to the paper. It's an acid free satin finish silk stock so it's your very very standard uh, commercial photo book stock. It's very very smooth it has a subtle sheen as you can see 
And let me see if I can give you a close up of the texture. Yes. It doesn't state on the website what thickness it is, but comparing it to the other books I've got, I think it's around 150 GSM, so it's a very standard um, silk paper. The minimum number of pages to get one of these books is 20, and the maximum is 150, or whatever cover you choose. There is no other option for the paper, this is the only one you've got. Even if you upgrade for hardcover, uh, you will still get the same um, silk finish paper uh, with the semi-gloss satin finish. And let's go on to the printing. Now this is where I was very happy with the book. Usually when you hear free or very cheap books you sometimes think that it's going to compromise the quality but not here. The print quality was very very good. As you can see, obviously you don't see the pictures that I submitted but the colour reproduction is really really accurate. I was very happy with that and also uh, the digital texture is not showing any more than in the books that costed me 20-25 pounds to get printed so um, they must be using indigo printers I'm not sure it's not um, stated on the website but they seem to be the best nowadays with um, digitally printed books so uh, no colors were oversaturated no colors were undersaturated it's very well balanced I didn't notice any errors in the print, um, the shadows and highlights were nice, exposure was really good, so perfect, well done. First of all, you need to download the app from the Apple Store, Google Play, whatever you're using, it's called Photobooks, and it looks like that. And this is the book that I printed. So for the cover, you click on it, and you can change the background you can add text, uh, adjust the picture and choose the layout and look at the layout, there are so many to choose from and some of them are really stylish like that one, very very elegant that you would get with mostly expensive books you can even have collages on the front cover and you can use the exact same layout for the back cover as well so when you're done with that then here your pages show up on the first page I wanted to get some text and you can get just text if you want to um, or you can have obviously layouts. Now these are some of the layouts that you can choose from. So on this one I've got two pictures. With every layout you've got the option to have a wide border around like that or to have full bleed edge to edge pictures like that. Let me show you some of the other layouts. So you've got lots of different options here that you've already seen in the book. Uh, you can change the background You've got different colors, you've got patterns and uh, themes, and the themes obviously are going to change the background for every single page. When you're done, you go to checkout, and here you uh, select the sizes. So for the 8x6, in this case, I would need to pay $14.99, and for the 11x8 inch, I would need to pay $24.99, but the 7x5 is free and also the other two are hardcover, as you can see. Okay, so delivery. Delivery is uh, roughly a week to nine days in the UK. Obviously, it's only in the UK, and it costed 5 .99, so £5.99. Uh, if you want to upgrade, you can do that for first-class delivery, which is up to a week, so it's, there's not much point. It's only a few days difference. Uh, and that's the only thing you need to pay for the books, so £5.99 if you want to get any of these books and there's one free book every single month. So what are the pros and cons of the book? The pros of the book is obviously the price. It's a free book and even if you have to pay for delivery, it's so small, it's £5.99. And compared to the other books which are similar in quality, uh, it's still extremely cheap because some of those books can cost up to £15-£20. So it's, it's really worth going for these if you want just a small present. So apart from the price, I was also very happy with the quality. Despite being a free book and a digitally pressed book, the quality was amazing and um, colour reproduction was very, very accurate. Paper feels nice and smooth, it's a silky paper and also um, I didn't notice any errors in the print. The other thing I really liked about the book was the editing options. You, you have lots of uh, layouts to choose from, up to six pictures on every page. Some of the ad books only allow you to use one picture on every page. Uh, you have lots of nice, very stylish, elegant cover designs. Also, you could use shapes in the book, like 
like that one. So you can create nice masks around the photos and also lots of text editing options. So it's a very small free book with lots of options, good quality and uh, a fun editing uh, app. So what are the cons? What were the things that I didn't like so much? I don't want to complain because it's a free book, but as soon as you start changing any of the features, let it be the cover, the page count or the size, um, it's going to add you a surcharge. So the free book is only really this small 20 page book in the 7x5 size. So you need to be careful when you uh, add things in the end before delivery to not create surcharges if you want to use the free book. And the other thing I was missing was some options for paper upgrades or lay flat option. If they offer you upgrade options for the other aspects of the book, then it would be nice to give you an option to choose a lustrous paper, a thicker paper or maybe lay flat, hopefully in the future. So final thoughts on the book. I was very very happy with it and I was very excited to try it. I saw the app a few times in the Apple Store and uh, I was like, mm, is it going to be good or is it going to be one of those really cheap things that you order and then they add so many extra charges before you get to check out. So it's not really free, but it is actually free. And once again, it's just the delivery that you need to pay for. Uh, printing was amazing. Uh, try the books out. If you want to make it slightly bigger or hardcover, go for it. It's worth paying for it. It's still cheaper than most of the other books in the same category and the same print quality so uh, I think it's a very good option to choose and I can only urge you to try it out. It's amazing for small gifts if you want to give somebody just a small um, book of the weekend party or a short trip. I obviously would never do a wedding album in such a small book or I wouldn't do my trips around the world in one of these but um, they all have their own purpose, so again, uh, try it out. If you want to see more up-close images of the book, they might give you a better idea of the quality. Go to my blog, thephotobookguru.com. Thank you for watching. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more.